Hey guys, welcome to Simpler Futures in our nightly video. We're going to take a look at a couple of things tonight. We're going to take a look at cattle and crude oil. Why? Because I think there's some things that we can learn about it. Have you ever traded cattle? Most of you are probably going, no, I've never looked at cattle. I've never traded cattle. It's a pretty technical market. Uh, it's one that uh, if you use limits on it, it, you'll know how to trade it. It, it use stops on it, at, that is and limit orders. Uh, make sure that when you're trading it, there is some size in there when you're putting in orders. Use your uh, dome off of your order entries and check the bid ask on it, see what it's doing. But there's some really good moves off of it. Now, this I was touting when it traded below a, a dollar that it's time to wake up and start doing it. I did videos on it that uh, about, hey, wake up, cattle's potential trade. What happened? Uh, 106. So what is this? We've got a move in here uh, from 96 to where we are went yesterday of a deal in here where this market has a $4,000 move to the upside. So with this move, we've got a potential pullback right now. And I still think that we'll, we'll have a pretty decent chance of going up and testing at 108. Uh, I've got a divergence right here uh, on yesterday's market, so I'm going to play it a little cautious. We may, if we take out the low here, and that was 103.22, uh, that would raise concern for me. I'll start tightening my stop up. I've got a good profit in it uh, from where I bought it down below a dollar and just want to let it ride as much as I can. Last was the crude oil contract. Uh, we were talking back in, I can tell you when it was, back in early October. I mentioned that it was a pretty good topping action here that I thought somewhere a, a little bit above 50 to 52. And at the time that we would be hitting up in here in the... Uh, up in this upper realm of my channel here and what happened we've seen a pretty decent sell-off in here and we're at 4450 level how far can we go it would not surprise me to see us run down to 42 dollars we're picking up steam uh, the macd we've got a uh, the fast and the slow moving lines off of the macd are expanding and when that happens usually we have some more we've got the the eight period Exponential moving average across the 55. I'm now looking for the 21 period exponential to see if it crosses 100. If it does, we could be down back at $40 in the crude. I don't think anybody would complain about that with low gas prices. But uh, we've got some pretty good trading opportunities. Look, look at the speed that it sold off from the level at 52, um, about $8.00 pretty strong move so guys watch it closely uh, we have some good trading opportunities coming up here and uh, right now the support level that I'm looking at is going to be at 43.55 if we break through it then I'm thinking that 42.40 is going to be the target guys good trading see you in the next video